Okay guys, this is my second installment of I'm Bored. Today we'll be talking about one company called NerdCorps. It's a crazy Canadian company who makes a lot of great movies and cartoons like um, Dragon Booster, Stormhawks, that sort of thing. And uh, we were doing one called Terror recently, but it didn't do so good. We've also been working on movies such as Monster High. Seriously, a movie about a doll. The same makers as the Brat Doll. Seriously, no corpse. Well, because I think I've been working on other things like Radio A for Awesome. Most things were Disney. Yeah, most things were Disney Channel anyway. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, this movie is also by the same company. Yeah, I got it. I also got the dolls. Just kill me, okay? The seat makers is a brat. Same company. They also been, oh yeah, no, of course, been working on other shows. Some really creepy ones. Two ones like younger children, older children. People my age. Well, I'm 26, so. Messy for. I think they worked on the Hot Wheels cartoon series called, um,. Other teens on machines or something. Or five, something like that. It's called five, I forgot what it's called, something five. Hot Wheels Battle Force 5, that's it. Hot Wheels Battle Force 5. Yeah, and of course, even one of the cartoon series called Max Steel, which I heard, which I found out as an 80s cartoon series as well. It's like a Mutant Turtles. Hmm, yeah, it's a very interesting, especially when they use a squash, squash and stretch characters, especially when they use all the same, pretty much the same actors and actresses, from, like, years ago. Heck, they used, like, a 40-some year old Sam Fenson to do a voice of a 10 or 15-year-old, or a 12-year-old. And, of course, like, League of Super Evil is quite funny, it's hilarious, but... Come to think of it, it looks like they reused the same kids from League of Super Hero and Rated A for Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, Rated A for Awesome. That's a strange how they do that. They just reuse the same characters, if you ask me. Some more serious ones. To ones crazy like League of Super Evil. <clears throat> to um, Slug Terror. Slinging Slugs. Seriously, no wonder this show didn't do very well. Yeah, it's true. It didn't do so well. Just like a cartoon series called Get Ed. Completely got wiped out before its time. It's okay, I suppose. But slinging slugs in an underground place doesn't make sense. Slugs are those disgusting little slimy things. Not cutesy wootsy Pokemon type things. <clears throat> anyway. That's pretty much all I want to say about Nerd Corps. It's still one of my favourite companies. Perhaps I'll be talking about Man of Action next. The creators of Ben 10. Yeah. Creators of Ben 10. They started with that cartoon. They had Generator Rex. And now they're working on Disney. Disney's Marvel characters. It is quite funny, actually. I mean... Well, just like only one cartoon company to like Disney's Marvel, and of course I've been working on a project with my friend. If you don't, if you not want, if you're one of those people who are suspicious or conspiracy about Di you know about the conspiracy about Disney, or you're just one of those people who's like, ooh, Disney, I love Disney, everything's just perfect. Don't blame me. Don't have a go at me. Don't mess. With me. I'm more talking about action. Okay. I'll speak to you whenever I feel like it. So, it is Super George. No, not Super George. School Girl 22. Sorry, it's a character of any. And of course, if I want to, I want to add my DeviantArt page in the description below. I also got a Tumblr, which I don't go on much. I also got Facebook, but I don't go on that much. I, it's private, so peace out, dudes. I'm out. Earlier, I was talking about the dolls. Here we are. 
Yep, I got two of a Monster High dolls. To me, they look like a creepy version of Bratz. I got like Frankie Steen and Rocket. So well, I find them interesting. So pretty much going in my collection. That's my extra bit what I'm bored. Signing up.